guys, welcome back to Sheets in Her Apron. Today I'm going to be making that thing you saw on Facebook. I'm making an apple pie bake. Okay, for this recipe, you're going to need um, a container of cinnamon rolls, and you're going to keep the icing that's in there. So you're going to need two of these. Uh, you're also going to need four eggs, two green apples, a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of some vanilla extract, a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, uh, you're going to need two tablespoons of butter, and you're going to need a half cup of milk. So we're going to start by opening your cinnamon roll container. We're going to save the frosting. We're going to need that. Okay, you're going to take your cinnamon roll and basically cut it up. So you're going to cut it up by threes each side so they make little strips. And I'm just going to keep cutting these. Or just cut them in half, just break them down basically. The, the, the thing says by nine, um, but I'm just gonna do one, two, three strips, and then I'm just gonna cut down the middle. You're gonna need at least a nine by nine baking um, pan. So I have one here, it's more oval shaped. So I have all my pieces cut up in uh, and just set in the pan. So now we're gonna make the mixture to go with this. Okay, in a medium bowl, we're gonna combine the eggs, the milk, the cinnamon, and the vanilla extract. Okay, we're gonna mix this up until it's smooth. I received this cool tool from Zen Pro. It's a hand mixer, so it's not electric and it works really cool, let me show you. It seriously does a good job whipping things. We use this on our eggs. I have made instant pudding with it. And it just whisks things up so beautifully. Oh yay, it's all done. That works so good. Um, they sent this out to me as a gift and I just wanna say thank you. Um, I will leave a link, a link down below where you can learn more about this tool. It's from Zen Pro. I love it. It's so easy too. Just click the button and it comes right off to wash. It's really nice. So thank you very much Zen Pro. We're going to take our two green apples and dice them up. Now that we have diced up our apples, we're going to take this over to the stove and put it in a pan with some butter and brown sugar. Okay, I just turned on my stove. We have medium high heat, and then we're going to add a cup of packed brown sugar and two tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna cook this together until the sugar starts to caramelize, so probably about 10 minutes. Okay, they have been cooking for 10 minutes, so I'm gonna turn it off the stove. Now let's assemble this yummy thing. Okay, we're gonna take our egg mixture and pour it all down. We're gonna take our caramelized apple mixture and put that on down. We're gonna take one of the icing packets and just start drizzling that all over it. So now that we are done with that, we're going to bake it in a 375 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes until golden brown. Okay, this is all done, so I'm gonna cut a piece, a scoop of vanilla ice cream, because what's an apple pie without the vanilla ice cream? And just stick that on top. Oh my goodness, an apple pie bake, you guys. Look at that. I think we need to taste this, don't you? Mmm. Okay, let's give it a bite. Oh my goodness, it is very good. 
but it's very sweet. <laughs> FYI. Mm. The vanilla ice cream helps balance that sweetness out, but this is good. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, well there you have it. Thanks for joining me. Hey, click that red subscribe button down below so you never miss the fun here. And give this a shot. Let me know what you think. It is sweet. So FYI, there's lots of sugar. But you know what? I'm going to eat it because it's apple and cinnamony and oh, it's, it is not bad, you guys. It really isn't. It's quite tasty. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Especially with the vanilla ice cream. Ooh. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye.